guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Uh, my name's Erica and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and stay. All right, so today I thought that I would do a type of like summery, smoky type of a look. <laughs> I don't mind my crazy hair. I need to wash it and it's just really frizzy. Um, we're I am right now, even though it's heating up, like the humidity is kind of coming with it. So yeah, let's let's just dive right in. Cause I also have lots of, well not lots, but I have some new products that I also want to use today. All right, <laughs> so my allergies are so bad right now. All right, so I've already primed with my Glossier Future Dew. So I'm actually going to just jump right in and I'm actually going to use a foundation. Um, this is the foundation stick by Bosma Beauty. I am in the shade 35 and this is actually a great shade match for me. I'm actually gonna zoom you in a little bit more just so you can see. Okay, there we are, nice and close. Okay, so yeah, this is a really good shade match for me and I'm just going to Stripe, oops, stripe it onto my face. Like, look at that. Really good match. And so, yeah, I'm just kind of focusing this where I need um, the most coverage, which is like everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this foundation brush from Merit and yeah, we're just gonna dab that in. All right, so that is just one light layer and I feel like it does a really good job at building upon itself, which I'm about to do. You can wear this really sheer or really um, built up. I'm gonna keep it sheer. It kind of clings. I have a little bit of clinging right here, um, but that's only because my skin has been uh, breaking out lately. Um, what else is new? But no, it's my time of the month, so I've got a little bit of breakouts right here, which makes it just a little more dry. But honestly, compared to how my skin normally looks with anything on it or without it on the dry patches, like oh, before we go farther, I'm actually going to use this bedtime story uh, lip mask by Jason Wu. Come on, focus for me. There you go. And yeah, I really, really like this. There is, come on, there's no coconut in it, like coconut oil, and I can't use coconut oil on my face or body, so, or lips. So the fact that this doesn't have coconut oil is awesome. And I keep this right here so I can get ready with it every day. All right, where is my color corrector? Because Lord knows I need one found it my tried and true love my charlotte tilbury color corrector the shade one fair but like i feel like a lot of skin tones that are on the lighter spectrum could use this one yeah i feel like my oh god that helps so much my eyes they can see they're like rimmed in red because i'm just so my allergies are so bad lately Oops. There he goes, funky brown. So now I'm actually gonna use an eye primer. <laughs> use this eye primer by Jason Wu Beauty as well. Um, this one is more of a, a skin tone color. Come on. Still super light though, like <laughs> really light right here. Sorry, that's just a swatch earlier, but. There it is. So I'm just going to apply this on my eye. Ooh, that is bright. But this works amazing. Oh my gosh. 
I used this on myself, my mom, and my sister for my sister's wedding. And oh my gosh, this held up so well. Looked so good. It gave such a nice blank canvas. And one thing I have to say is that this, it's like moisturizing enough, but dry enough at the same time to where you don't have to set it. I personally like to, but a lot of the times I, if I'm, but I'm using this just on myself because I am so dry, I won't. I will not set this at all, but you know, personal preference. I'm just gonna smooth this on. Um, yeah. Yeah, it really does leave a nice bright base. Really, I'd say a little too bright. Like, <laughs> I just like look like a vampire, but yeah, let's um, let's conceal the under eye right now because I need to. Uh, yeah, let us take. I'm actually, gonna use this one by Subtle Beauty. This is the shade Arlington. Oh no, wait. This is the shade. Homestead. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna use this under my eyes. Um, I might have to mix it because it seems, if this is more of like a skin tone. Yep, yep, this is a little dark. That's fine. I'm just gonna place that first. And, oh God, the texture, that's amazing though. I'm gonna just use a little bit of my shape tape. What a surprise. So I'm going to take the tiniest amount and dab it on. Right, and I think today I am just going to do a powder bronzer. This is by Arrive. And I have their light medium one. It's like a really nice neutral shade too. All right, now for my little subtle beauty stack, I'm going to take the lip and cheek in. And rose. Mm -hmm. Dusty rose. So it looks like. So yeah, I'm just going to apply that really quick. And these are a lip to cheek, so I'll just put on my lips too, just so you can see what it looks like. It's like a really pretty, like pinky, dusty, rosy, um, balmy texture. It looks really nice. This is really nice for like a mono. Um, monochromatic look so yeah let's move on to the eyes and believe it or not I actually have another <laughs> Jason Wu product that I have been loving and this is their flora 9 flora 9 f9 matte agave palette oh so agave, flora agave. so yeah this is really cute it's just like a solid neutral matte palette really handy really blendable so let's do this I'm first just going to balance out my eye area with this um, peachy and yellow these two end colors uh, just to kind of give myself a solid and smooth base to work with first Wow, I really should have cleaned my brushes. We are going to take this bottom one. Goes with our kind of olive theme, I'd say. So we're just kind of building up that shape just to get that definition and I'm just kind of pushing it out at the end. 
because my eyes are very round. I just kind of want them to have that more elongated, kind of sexy looking feel to them. So I'm going to go in with this shade next to it. We're just going to kind of build that up a bit. And now I am actually going to take this reddish shade here and I'm going to place that on my, actually, I'm not. This Fido Surgeons eyeshadow in Velvet Leaf. And this is a great green olive with a brown base. So I feel like that'll actually look really good. Okay, so that took way more effort than I expected, um, but I'm pretty sure that is on me. Being a little lazy bum, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over with a denser brush just on any edges that I feel are a little harsh. And then I'm just gonna go over with this brush again and blend. And yeah, now that is pretty much good. I think I'm going to actually go I'm going to actually go into the crease again with a um, with that brown <laughs> color uh, just to make sure Now I kind of just want to do a little bit of glitter on it, so I am going to take Ooh, I know a smoke reflect a scattered light shadow. Um, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna tap a tiny bit. All right, and now I'm going to take this NYX Faux Black in Black Olive. And I'm just gonna put that on like right near my lashes and upper lash line. going to use my Evio Beauty mascara and yeah let's just apply this really quick it seriously just gives like the nicest lift and all of that all right, and now for the lip, I am just going to do my Thrive Cosmetics Lip Liner in Khaki. And then my, oh here we go. The Glossier Ultra Lip in 
Entrench. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little olive makeup tutorial. I had really no idea what I was going for at the beginning I did, but then that changed. Um, but yeah, I had really, uh, I had an energy drink before this and I can totally feel it now. So yeah, maybe that's why this video was kind of like all over the place, but thank you. Oh, 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 there we go crazy hair but thank you so much for watching i really hope that you will stay hit that subscribe button like comment uh, let me know what you want to see next i know i keep saying this but i'm really going to start <laughs> filming regularly and uploading kind of getting into a new routine here some new goals so yeah i'm excited to have you here on this adventure with me and i'll see you next time bye